be doing chapter one, lesson 1.1 1 .1 on page three in your workbook. We're gonna skip a few pages. Go ahead and get your highlighter and your pencil out. I can show a ratio relationship between two or more quantities. We're gonna add that word. Different representations and describe the relationship using correct mathematical language. Make sure you write or more above this. We're gonna go over some vocabulary that we started last week. There are a couple types of ratios. There's part to part and part to whole. Let's rewrite that with an example. A part to part relationship last week discussed, we could compare boys to girls in the class. A part to whole relationship would be like comparing the boys to the total number of students or girls to the total number of students in the class. Let's take a look down below. Understanding ratios. The table shows the ingredients needed to make 10 cups of lemonade. Let's highlight that. We're gonna come over here. Do you see how it says two cups of lemon juice, one cup of simple syrup, and seven cups of water? If we add those together, we get 10 total cups. How does the number of cups of lemon juice compare to the total number of cups of lemonade? Since that's our comparison, let's underline it. Off to the side, let's write that comparison. It's comparing a part to a total. In our table, it says you need two cups of lemon juice to 10 total cups. What this means is for every two cups of lemon juice, there is 10 total cups of ingredients. There's another way that we can look at this. We can take these two numbers and simplify. So let's write our two to 10. We have to think what goes into both two and 10 to make it smaller. They're both even, so we could divide by two. And that would be a one to five ratio. And that would be our base ratio. Go ahead and flip the page. Another way to make a comparison is to use a ratio. Let's highlight a ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities for which for every A unit of one quantity, there are B units of another quantity. The phrases for every and for each are used to define and describe the ratio. Let's take a look at the table below. So we're gonna do a, some of this during class. We're gonna make bar models. So I want you to label this base bar model. This shows the two cups of lemon juice compared to the 10 total cups needed in the recipe. This says to make two batches of lemonade, you would need 20 cups, 20 total cups. And then it says, well, how much lemon juice will you need? So here we're doubling the recipe. 
let's show it off to the side. We have our lemon juice to the total cups. That ratio was two to 10. And if we have 20 total cups, we're timesing it by two. So that means we have to times the lemon juice by two. So four cups of lemon juice, and we'd have 20 total cups for our recipe. You can see it in our diagram over here. What happens if we wanna make three batches of lemonade? Let's write our base ratio, two to 10. And let's times it by three. So we will have six cups of lemon juice to 30 total cups. No matter how many batches are made, there are always two cups of lemon juice for every 10 cups of lemonade in the recipe. So we're, we're maintaining that ratio. This confirms the same relationship between the cups of lemon juice and the cups of lemonade are maintained. Let's go over here to the talk about it. It says if you did not maintain the same ratio of lemon juice to the total cups of lemonade, what might happen to your lemonade? Well, it could become too sour or it could become too sweet. Go ahead and flip the page. Understanding ratios. Pedro mixed two sample containers of blue paint with three sample containers of yellow paint to create his favorite shade of green. Let's highlight that. He mixed blue paint, well, two blue paints with three yellows. Pedro realized he did not have enough paint, so he added two more sample containers of each color. Let's underline added two more. Will the new mixture result in the same shade of green? Let's justify your answer. It says, how will you begin solving your problem? Let's first start with our labels. We're comparing blue paint to yellow, so B to Y, and then they gave us the ratio two to three. We have to justify he added two more sample containers of each one. Did he balance the, the ratio? So let's take a look at this diagram. To create his favorite shade of green, Pedro used a ratio of two to three. So we can see two to three, similar to what we wrote down. Pedro added two more containers of each color. So it shows it here. There's four to five, just like our ratio that we showed off to the side. The amount of blue paint and the new mixture is twice that of Pedro's favorite shade. To maintain the same ratio, the amount of yellow paint should also be twice the amount. Is five twice the amount of three? The answer is no. Let's write the new ratio off to the side. So if we need twice the amount, we have to times both by two so we would need four blues to six yellow. Let's show it in a small bar diagram. So here's our two bars that represent our blue and three bars that represent yellow. If we wanna have twice the amount, put two inside the box. And then we can count them up, and it also shows four to six. We're going to now jump all the way to page seven. 
or just kidding, page 10. We're going to do the check for understanding. The ingredients needed to make two servings of a fruit smoothie are shown in the table below. Suppose you have 12 cups of frozen strawberries. It's important information, let's highlight it. If you use the entire amount, how many cups of plain yogurt do you need to maintain the same ratio? Let's look over here. We would need two cups of plain yogurt for every three cups of strawberries. Let's start with our letters. They're comparing strawberries to yogurt. So let's use S to Y. Three cups of strawberries to two cups of yogurt. They tell us we have 12 cups of strawberries to use. The 12 goes below the S. How do we go from three to 12? Times it by four. So we would have to times the yogurt by four as well. 2 times 4 is 8, so we would need 8 cups of yogurt if we have 12 cups of strawberries. Let's draw our bar model. It's a 3 to 2 ratio, so here's our 3 bars to 2 bars. Put a 1 in each, in each of those boxes, and then it shows our 3 to 2. Draw the same boxes, 1, 2, 3 and two more boxes here. If we have 12 total strawberries, then this four goes inside the box. Four, eight, 12, that's our factor that we're multiplying by. The beauty of using these ratios is that once you find one box, you have found them all. So here we can also see 12 to eight. That ends our video.